Hello dear students, you might have seen many videos about acoustic emission testing on YouTube, but still you might be having some doubts and that's why you are here. Dear students, all your doubts regarding acoustic emission testing will be clear from this video. So watch complete video. So let's start. Acoustic emission testing is a non-destructive testing technique used for detecting damages, cracks and leaks caused due to pressure, load or temperature in different structures such as metals, composite, wood, fiberglass, ceramic, plastics, concrete, polymer, etc. So what happens? We use different objects in our day-to-day -day life or in industries and if something get failure then we will have a huge loss, maybe loss of life or financial loss and to avoid all that we do the testing and that particular testing in case of industrial testing is called as a non-destructive testing. Among them is acoustic emission testing which is very popular in industry. So let us understand all these things about this. So you might have seen some leakage occurred in some pipeline and there is a wastage of water or not just water pipeline, there might be some petrol pipeline or gas pipeline and that may cause the leakage and it may even cause dangerous accidents. You might have seen such cracks in concrete. So how to detect such cracks as soon as they happen, not they after that they happen, but as soon as that they happen means in real time how you can detect such a cracks or flaws or defects in the material or objects or machinery. So that is why we have to understand this acoustic emission testing. Acoustic emission testing is a study and practical use of elastic waves generated by material subjected to an external stimulus like pressure, load or temperature which propagate to the surface and are recorded by sensors. So understand the meaning of this statement. So whenever some crack or flaw happens in a material for example suppose this is a tank and if something happens in this uh, tank means uh, to the tank i will say maybe some crack or maybe some uh, weakness is there maybe this weakness may be uh, due to some external pressure or internal pressure or some external load or it may occur because of the temperature variation of that particular tank and there may be chances of leakage and because of this leakage uh, if there is uh, some inflammable gas or liquid then the high chances of accident are there. But what happens as soon as this crack happens it generates that particular region generates some elastic waves. So it generates elastic waves and these waves in a no time reach to the surface area of that particular object. So you can see there is a device that is called as the acoustic emission testing device is attached to it and this particular device will sense these signals as soon as the crack happened and it will indicate this particular fault or this particular signal to the monitoring system. That particular sensor may look somewhat like this. So this is the actual acoustic emission testing sensor which are attached to the devices. Acoustic emission has been used on structures including pressure vessels. You can see this is a pressure vessel. Fire bottles, you can see fire bottle. Then wind turbines, gas wells nuclear weapons and solar collectors. So if you see so many devices are there where a small leak can have a big damage or loss and therefore to avoid such a losses we have to use this particular technique acoustic emission testing. We are going to see everything about this acoustic emission testing in detail using animations. Now we have to understand the principle behind this acoustic emission testing. So to understand that, so this is a statement for this phys physics applied or the principle applied for this acoustic emission testing. When a crack or some deformation occurs in the material, 
it results in a rapid release of energy transmitting in the form of elastic waves namely acoustic emission so let's understand this concept for example there is some load here okay so there is a some load here it may be internal load or it may be external load remember this if there is a gas cylinder then the internal pressure may be higher and because of that also there may be crack in the material or it may be external uh, pressure let's say uh, railway track and on the railway track you put the pressure of railway uh, boogie and that may, may cause the cracks in the railway track so these are some examples so let us understand here what happens if there is certain external load it may be pressure or it may be sometimes a uh, temperature variation because of temperature variation also there is a change in the material structure and because of that also elastic waves get generated and these elastic waves immediately will be detected by these acoustic emission testing sensors which are attached to the specimen so this is a specimen and some load get uh, applied like this on that material and as soon as that uh, load get applied so what happens sometimes there is some failure of this specimen so and it will have a crack and it will generate some signal here and this signals will be only for a fraction of seconds and this signals will reach to the surface and on the surface we have put here this sensor and this sensor will give this signal to the monitoring system or device display device where we can observe these signals here so you can put n number of sensors on the specimen to monitor it continuously and we can see the signals continuously here and if there is no flaw or there is no any damage occurring or if it is working properly then you will not get uh, that typical type of the signal but only when there is some crack because of that external load then that signal will be observed on the monitor and we can have such a softwares that will give alarm to us and immediately we can inspect that particular specimen or that particular object immediately and if there is some fault we can remove it and we can avoid the bigger accidents acoustic emission frequencies are usually in the range of 150 to 300 kilohertz which is above the frequency of audible sound means this particular frequency of these elastic waves is of ultrasound waves but remember that these ultrasound waves are not provided by us or externally but these ultrasound waves or these elastic waves are generated by the sample itself because of some deformation it deformation in it through analyzing the characteristics of background noise the cracked sound pulses are separated ac accurately from the originally continuous signal so there might be some vibrations in the material because of its operation and because of that also you will get some signals but these noise signals and the actual deformation signal can be separated using again software and we can differentiate between these two signals on the screen and we can identify which uh, vibration or which uh, uh, sound or that energy is it is from some noise external noise that is regularly happening or is it because of that specific event when that particular crack has happened that we can identify now let's understand this concept using one more example let's say the railway track is there and if you have attached the acoustic emission testing sensors to it to monitor that railway track continuously and we can do that so let us see what happens here so this is a sample that we are taking here for our consideration now we will attach the sensors to this uh, sample and these sensors are now connected to our monitoring system where we can observe that signal when the material get held so so this is the railway track we have attached the sensor we have applied this acoustic emission testing monitoring system and now suppose railway 
runs over that track like this. So a load get applied because of this railway and there are some chances, not always, but there are some chances, though rare, there are some chances that this particular sample or that railway track may get some deformation or may some may get some crack which is not instantly visible to us but it can be detected by this acoustic emission testing system so some crack has happened and because of that crack el elastic waves will be produced these elastic waves will be detected by these sensors and this particular signal will come to our monitoring system so immediately we can see these signals here and by using proper alarm system we can have these uh, signals earlier and by using some software we can detect these signals and we can generate alarm for that particular signal and we can avoid the big accidents so practically if you see that this is a tank which contains some uh, uh, important or some Im Im inflammable gas and uh, to monitor this particular cylinder uh, we have attached here two sensors here at these two uh, layers or two regions so actual sensor will look like this a close view of the sensor is somewhat like this so before attaching you have to use uh, some jelly like liquid here to detect this uh, elastic waves now more examples here you will see uh, there are so many sensors are attached to this particular cylinder to monitor its uh, physical structure constantly or you can see even this particular tanker is attached with this uh, sensor and continuously you can monitor this even pipelines can also be attached with the sensors these are some examples so where we can use this acoustic emission testing we can use it for lpg tank as already we have seen in one image uh, then storage tanks underground tanks uh, so this also is the example of storage tank then bridges so for bridges also we can monitor the structure or that uh, strength of that bridge constantly using this acoustic emission testing then gas water pipeline so pipelines also can be monitored here you can see the different sensors are attached to this at different positions different levels or you can say aeroplanes in different parts of the aeroplane like engine or this wing so anywhere these uh, sensors can be attached so these are so one more example of a gas cylinder even this acoustic emission testing is useful in detecting landslides in rainy season in mountain region landslide occurs frequently and to just detect this particular landslide this acoustic emission testing sensor is uh, buried in this uh, land and when something slide happens that movement can be detected using this acoustic emission testing sensor or for uh, you will see this uh, wind turbine for wind turbine also you can apply or you can use this uh, sensor if something uh, happens uh, some deformation happens we can detect that in early stage advantages of acoustic emission testing so let's see what are the ad advantages first real-time detection of component or failure first real-time detection of component failure so this is the only technique by which we can real time in real time means when that particular thing or that uh, uh, incident or that event or let's say crack or that damage or deformation is happening in real time immediately we can detect this in other techniques we cannot do that we have to do it earlier or we have to do it afterwards but in this acoustic emission testing in real time as that particular is happening we can detect that then high accurate results so everything is uh, digital so we can have high accuracy uh, sensors are sensitive so therefore a small signal a small crack can also be detected it is uh, comparatively economical early warning of crack growth is given by the sensors exact location of defect can be found 
so here to find out the location we have to use more than two sensors let's say three or four etc sensors if you use as used in this particular photograph you will see so you cannot just detect the fault but you can also detect at what location that fault is happened possible to test pressure equipment during plant operation and not just the uh, when the material is uh, in laboratory but even when that material or object is in working condition when it is in operation in that situation also we can use this acoustic emission testing though there are so many advantages there are few disadvantages also like high initial cost for that operation that sensor and for that monitoring system we incur initial cost that is little bit higher requires skilled person to operate and understand signals so you will need trained person skilled person you have to give the training to these persons to uh, uh, understand them about the theory and practical about this uh, testing so we have to use or we need the skilled persons difficult for outdoor use so it is little bit difficult because these uh, uh, signals are carried by wires to the monitoring system so you have to bring these signals to the monitoring system so you have to bring these signals for a long distance let's say for outdoor use like the bridges so these are some demerits of acoustic emission testing i hope you have learned something new about acoustic emission testing and still if you are having any question or doubt you can ask in the comments below and you can also suggest a topic for the next video thank you for liking sharing and subscribing this channel